There are many practical steps homeowners can take to prepare for wildfire, but there are still ways that renters fall through the cracks in fire preparedness outreach. The Sonoma County Tenants Union has been trying to fill this gap by raising mutual aid funds to provide low-income tenants with air purifiers ahead of fire season. Today, we are doing actually several things kind of all wrapped up into one nice little phone banking session. We are reaching out to people who have called us in the past who we haven't really connected with. We are trying to actually create membership um, by having people sign up to pay dues. We're doing a dues drive right now so we can actually have everybody who has not been paying dues over the last year because we waived those dues because of COVID, having all of those folks actually start paying monthly dues, which is super important because the third thing we're doing is preparing for fire season here in Sonoma County. We know that air quality is something that's really affects all of us, whether the fire is like really close to us or, it, you know, we were really affected by the, the Paradise fires and um, air quality could be a huge issue for many months on end. But there's no public service campaigns about this, no public health campaigns to actually get people what they need to make their indoor air quality clean. And so when we're thinking about tenants, um, the landlord is required to provide things like smoke detectors or, um, you know, doors that lock, certain things that are essential for the habitability of your home. But there's no requirement that they provide air purifiers when the smoke outside is toxic. And we know that smoke is um, extremely harmful to our health, and especially with young children, it can actually alter the DNA in young children, um, and this can have lifelong consequences. But yet, nobody's being educated about air purifiers indoors, and no, no public health um, or emergency preparedness or emergency disaster um, entity in our county is actually like going out and giving these resources to people, let alone educating them on the importance of it. So we take care of our, our members, and so we're doing this um, for tenants in Sonoma County. Yeah, um, and are you, are you able or interested in contributing to our um, fire assistance fund? The other piece that we were asking around today is we're just checking in around fire preparedness. Um, a lot of tenants, you know, we're unfortunately entering Sonoma County's fire season and um, we're just checking in to see if tenants are in need of things like air purifiers, masks. Um, if you're... I had some really great interactions with folks on calls. Uh, I think some of the people I talked to were people who we talked to on the hotline like a year ago and so they appreciated just the follow-up and being checked in on. They know from their own experiences how important air quality is and we're eager to um, give back to the community and support others um, in, in being able to live comfortably at home. So um, yeah, we made a couple hundred dollars today uh, and it was, it was great. My name is Rachel and I'm calling from the Sonoma County Tenants Union. I was talking to the manager there about placing a bulk order for air purifiers. Sebastopol Hardware was really great and they offered us a bulk discount on the air purifiers, so we're ordering them at cost and we really appreciate them for um, supporting us with this effort. And uh, we ordered 30 that are arriving this week and then we hope to um, be able to order more once more money comes into our fundraiser. So our primary mandate has always been to stop evictions, to keep people in their home, but it is still really essential that we look after the, the health and well-being of tenants. And fire season is basically a vast threat to people's well-being, not, and not just in the way that you might think, which is evacuations or losing your home, losing your possessions, but just living in the county when it's under like almost like fire lockdown is how I, I like to think about it. Is, is taxing on people's lungs, on people's minds, and in a lot of different ways, especially if you're at, at risk or already vulnerable in some sort of way. And so preparing mutual aid, preparing fire mutual aid is really essential. When we talk with people on the hotline about um, their rights as tenants, habitability is one of the core components of um, tenants' rights. Like you have the right to live in a place that's free of mold, of leaks, of, um, uh, infestations, asbestos, things like that. And we have become so ac accustomed to smoke and we think that, we believe it's, it's a basic human right to live in a place where your indoor air quality is breathable and it's not gonna risk your health. And so um, this is a fundamental habitability issue as well as a tenant's rights issue.